Let's talk about the one move that starts the downswing that just perfectly syncs everything up. You get really nice and into the slot. You get the club with great lag and you really just feel like you can turn through it as hard as you want to. You can swing any way that you want and there's no way that this ball is going to go offline. Let's go ahead and give it a whirl here. All right, I can't hit one much more solid than that. Nice high draw with a six iron there. That's probably going to be close to a little over 200 yards and carry. And when I feel like I'm playing my best, it starts from the downswing. Once I get that perfect downswing, I get a little weight shift to the left. I start to, you know, shallow out that club where it feels like it's getting in the slot. I get a lot of lag in the downswing. Once that's happening, just this very first little move from there, I feel like everything's over. I either have it in the right spot and I'm going to hit a fantastic shot or I don't have it in a good spot and it's gonna to be tough. So here's the one move that puts everything in its place to start the downswing. And it really starts with a weight shift. Let me go ahead and just do the whole move here together. I have my hands a little bit more in front of me and I'm gonna shift as I kind of shallow that club out and lag it. Let me show exactly what this means. Here's how I want you to feel this. Start up here at the top of the swing and what I want you to feel like is you take a little turn. So you're basically gonna take a slight step and then you kind of turn into your left foot as this club drops. Now you'll notice if I'm kind of swinging level with the ground, as I start to turn, that club naturally wants to drop a little bit. So this makes complete sense. As I take this little step forward and get my weight moving forward, that's gonna naturally drop that club as long as I let it drop and I start to get a little shift into my left side. That's the first way I want you to feel it. Just taking those little mini steps there and it's almost like I'm taking a little step and I'm turning into my body. Notice how my knees are moving a little bit, my hips are moving, and my chest is moving. It's not this big like lag, tuck under move like that. You don't have to have that at all. Just a nice little pivot to the left. When I do that, again, my body is turning into my arms. Here's the big mistake, and this is actually piece number two on this. A lot of players will get their arms fully across their body in the, in the backswing, in the downswing, they start flying off their body. That would look like this. I'm really stretched out here, and then as soon as I start down, that club starts coming over the top. In reality, I wanna have something that looks a lot more like this. As I'm in my backswing, my arms are more in front of my body, and then as I start my downswing, I get that little, that little bump and that opening in my body. My left arm actually comes across my chest. So if my chest didn't move, that would look like this. My left arm's moving into my chest as I start my downswing. So notice that again, here's the top of the backswing. And then as I start, my left arm comes across my chest as I, I shallow out. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking my left arm and I'm turning my chest into my left arm. Let's take a look at that move here again. A little weight shift, everything's dropping out. And again, that's that rotation. I start to rotate my body, I shift, I begin to rotate and everything just goes into my left arm. When I get there, now I have a ton of lag built up. If I get across my body really deep, I kind of suck the club back inside, it's going to want to kick out this way. If I keep my arms a little more in front and then I can turn into my arm, that makes it really easy to max out my lag. So notice on this one, I'm going to have a lot of lag on this swing because of that little turn move that I'm doing at the top. Let's give it a whirl. There we go. A little tiny bit to the left for a miss hit. I have a hard time getting lined up in these simulators exactly where I'm going, but that's a pretty good shot. Carried over 200 yards, 205 yards or something carry with a six iron. Very happy with that. And a lot of that is from that stored up, that, that little stretch of the power there, and then it flies off my chest to get the speed coming through contact. Now the final piece here is the shallowing. Now I hinted to it there a little bit, but notice when I take that little step and I turn into my left arm, look how my left elbow just naturally tucks as my arm goes across my chest. So this left elbow is gonna naturally come in as long as I rotate into my left arm. If I let my left arm come off my chest, that's that right arm coming out like this. So if I'm really deep and stuck and then I throw my left arm off my chest, that's the over the top. When I turn into my left arm, that naturally shells it out and I feel like my elbow there is starting to point toward my belly button. If I had a laser shooting out of my elbow, I wanna feel like that thing tucks into my belly button as I'm making that downswing. And now that's when I have a lot of stretch and I'm gonna feel like that transition move is over about right here when I have the maximum amount of lag. 
So let's go ahead and try that one out again. Let's get a little straighter ball flight on this one. Maybe hit a straight shot or just a slight cut on this one. See how I do. As I look on the screen, and you can see that one almost laser straight there as we're looking at this footage. So really, like I said, once that move starts down from the top, it's pretty much over from there. You either have it or you don't. Now there's one final piece with this that I find a lot of players struggle with. Once we get this move in the slot, we get this little one move that gets it all synced up. Most players have the face way too open. And here's what I mean by this. Most players are used to kind of coming down a little steeper. And when you come down steeper, that starts to close the face and get it turning down a little bit more. As you shallow this club out, and now you have it in the slot, look how the face is much more up to the sky. So what we have to learn to do is exactly what the pros are doing. What I want to walk you through here is exactly what to do with the hands and wrist, that now when you get it in the right position, everything is going to be squared up and you can just turn through there as hard as you want to. I have a perfect drill that's going to do this for you called the tennis racket drill. All you need to do is go ahead and click one of the cards that you see pop up on the screen. And if you don't see one of those cards, don't worry. Just go down to the description below, click the link there and you'll get instant access. Now that tennis racket drill is going to help you tremendously in getting this face squaring up like the pros are getting. That right wrist angle between the knuckles and the, the wrist there is exactly what I want to have happen. And I'm going to show you a very intuitive way of getting that. So let's go ahead and check out the tennis racket drill. I'll play a preview right now and I can't wait to see you and help you get those pro wrist angles to add with that move of the downswing. You're going to be playing the best golf of your life. Good player problems. We're going to talk about shallowing that club shaft out as we're starting down as we're doing this rotating of the face that we worked, about, worked on in the last video. As we start this downswing, what you'll see with, with basically all uh, of the, the top players is instead of coming kind of over the top and letting the hands come out away from their body, letting the club come out away from their body, again coming down steep into the ball and then having to open up, kind of fillet open the face and add loft to it, the flattening of the shaft should happen as soon as we start down. So as we start this downswing, what we want to have happening here, you can imagine that if I draw a line from the hosel of my club up through my right elbow, that's my swing plane line, my elbow plane. As I go to the top of the swing, I'm going to be slightly above that. And then as I start down, I want my hands to start to shallow out. I want the club to shallow out inside of this elbow plane. And at the same time,